In this example, we are going to determine whether or not these two square matrices are inverses of one another. So the way we can do that is by multiplying them together and seeing if this product matrix is going to be the identity matrix. So we have a two by two matrix. This main diagonal has all ones and then all the other values are zeros. Well, okay, so let's go ahead and multiply these two. So I'm gonna copy down this first matrix again. So we have the negative three, four, and then 4.5 and two. And I'll rewrite and raise up just a little bit this second matrix and then leave some space horizontally so we can work. And then let's go ahead and put our product matrix kind of right here and we'll show all of our work in there. So for multiplication, remember we're working across the rows and down the columns and we're going to have some multiplications to do and then we're going to add up all those products. So we need it to look like one zero, zero one. So negative three times negative two first is six. 4.5 times four is 18. And six plus 18, uh, well, that is not going to be a one. So we actually can tell already that this is not going to work. So these two square matrices are not inverses of one another. One good lesson that we learn from math is work smarter, not harder. So we can already see this process is not going to give us what we want, so there's no reason to continue. These are not inverses.